Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ashwini and today we are going to see the next lab program of first PUC computer science. So let me show you the program first and explain you what is this particular program is. So here is the here is the program. Write a C++ program to find the sum of all the digits of a number using while statement. So what is the problem statement is? Sum of all the digit of a given number. So if you give 22, the sum of all the digit is 2 plus 2 is 4. If you give 105, 1 plus 0 plus 5 is 6. If you give 2021, then it is 2 plus 0 plus 2 plus 1, it is 5. So that is what sum of all the digit is. So I will just explain you how it goes. First I will explain the logic, then I will explain the program in my terminal. So this is the logic here. So I have copied this logic in this particular notepad. So I will explain you how this particular program runs. So let me consider number is equal to Hmm. 1, 2, 0, 5 is a number. So, while number not equal to 0, so 1,205 is not equal to 0, right? So, it will go inside the loop and it will perform these operations. So, the first operation is reminder is equal to this line, number mod 10, number is 1, 0, 1025 sorry 1205 is a number you are going to perform a modulus operation by 10 so what will be the answer I will just put an arrow here what will be the answer when you perform modulus operation I told you modulus operation is taking the reminder so if you take the reminder then what will be the answer for this? 5 will be the reminder here. So 5 is the reminder. So go to the next step. Sum is equal to sum is equal to sum plus reminder. Initially sum is 0. In the program you can see initially sum value is 0. So in the first step 0 plus what is the reminder? This reminder answer is 5. So, five, 0 plus 5. So, what will be the answer? 5 itself. So, answer is 5. Okay. Next. Number is equal to number divided by 10. Number is equal to, what is the number now? number divided by 10 is like number is 1205 divided by 10. So divide means you are going to take the quotient. What is the quotient now? 120. 120 is the quotient. So remember this. Now reminder is 5, sum is 5 and number is 120. Okay, remember this. In the next step, same thing same this same thing we are going to perform this is the second iteration number is equal to see it this one answer will be one two zero so what is the number now whatever the value here is that will be the number so 120 is the number so i'll consider one 20 is the number. So again we are going to perform while number is not equal to 0. What is number? 120. 120 is not equal to 0. So we are going to perform these particular operation. So here reminder reminder is, e is equal to here number mod 10. Number is 120 mod 10. 
what is the reminder now? Zero is the reminder. So, reminder is zero now. So, next step sum is equal to sum plus reminder. Here, sum value is 5. So, sum is equal to sum is 5. 5 plus reminder is see here this reminder reminder is 0 so 0 here then number is equal to number divided by 10 that is number is 120 divided by 10 120 divided by 10 the answer will be 12 right so 12 again in the next step next iteration whether number is equal to 0 no right number is 12 so consider 12 so reminder is equal to this one i am performing this number divide uh, mod 10 so reminder reminder is equal to what is the number now number is 120 sorry 12 12 mod 10 what is the reminder now reminder is 2 when you modulate by 10 the reminder is 2 so when you divide 10 by 12 sorry 12 by 10 whatever the reminder you get that is the modulus operation Rem 10 ones are 10 2 reminder right so reminder i have written here even here 120 mod 10 10 divided by 120 is reminder is 0 1205 divided by 10 you will get 5 has a reminder so that is what i have written here so next sum is equal to sum plus the sum plus reminder what are the reminder we get so here sum is in the previous step sum is 5 so 5 plus what is the reminder here reminder in the step 2 so 2 so what is the answer it is 7 right again num is equal to number number is 12 divided by 10 what will be the quotient when you divide you are going to take quotient 10 ones are 10 reminder is 1 quotient is 1 so now you are going to perform reminder is equal to 1 mod 10 the answer will be 1 itself right 1 so you are going to take sum is equal to sum plus what is sum here 7 so 7 plus 7 plus what is the reminder reminder is 1 here so this one 1 so totally it is 8 right next num is equal to num divided by divided by 10 what is number now number is 1 1 divided by 10 you can't divide 1 by 10 right so it will become 0 the quotient is 0 num is equal to 0 now so here the result will be 0 so in the first step you have while num is not equal to 0 number is equal to 0 now see here the result is 0 now so when it is 0 it will come out of the loop and print the sum total sum is see here this one 8 so this is about the program i hope you understood this particular program i'll explain this in the terminal let me open the terminal double click on turbo c++ click on start so here i'll open the reminder program reminder.cpp 
so this is the program so i'll make this as comment line so write a c++ program to find the sum of all the digit of given number so this is the program i told you the first step always it will be a header file so you have included two header files one is iostream.h one is konyo.h the next one is void main so always inside the main you are going to write all your main program so void main you have given inside the void main the first step is declaration of variable so here you have declared in number sum and reminder as a required variable clr scr so this is a function which clears the previous output remember that so till here it is a declaration part inside the main program so this is the first part you are going to do next part is you have, you have to input the values so to input the values you need one c out statement and one c in statement in c out statement you are going to tell enter the number so in c in statement you are going to input the value of a number so we have given a short form of num here this one so next is the logic initially the logic is first you are going to make sum is equal to 0 because previous output will be stored in this particular sum variable so first you need to make sure that the sum inside the sum whatever the memory allocation is there for sum that should be 0 first you will assign sum has 0 then you are going to perform the operation so while num is not equal to 0 this i have explained in the notepad so you are going to perform this particular logic after perform the, this logic whatever the answer you get that will be written here so we using the c out statement so c out sum of all the digit is sum this particular sum contains the value of the final result so you are going to print the value next get ch it it will be in the output screen itself till you press any key in your keyboard it will be in the output screen itself this is about the logic so i have explained the logic before itself so i am not explaining it here i hope you understood the logic first understand the logic after that you can easily what write a program so first do that first understand the logic then you will come to know how to how to write the head part and bottom part you will come to know first i'll compile it zero errors then i'll go to run click on run the first step is enter the number so i'm going to enter the number 1205 as i shown you in the notepad i'll click on okay see here the sum of digit is 8 let me try with another number i'll go to run and here you can see the previous output whatever the 8 was there the sum of all the digit is 8 that is cleared so that is because you have included clear screen function in your program so whenever you include that the previous output will be deleted so next i'll give 1 2 3 4 5 i'll click on enter key the sum of all the digit is 15 so you know that 5 5 plus 4 is 9 9 plus 3 is 12 12 plus 2 is 14 14 plus 1 is 15 so sum of all the digit is 15 so this is the output i hope you understood this particular program if you have any doubts in this particular program please comment that in the comment section i'm going to answer for that and if you have any doubts in any of the lab programs you can write the question for me in the comment section so that i can do a video in the next upcoming videos so i hope you like this video if you have liked the video please hit a like share it with your friends and please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you